Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video, today's video is about getting ready to move part three, I believe. Yeah, this is the third part. So in this video, I want to document and share with you guys uh, as a process for me moving. Like I said, uh, I'll be moving in August and now we are approaching June in a few days. So it's two months and you know, time is creeping up at us and uh, I want to make sure that I'm prepared for the move. Uh, so. Uh, in this video, I want to pack a couple more things uh, uh, as I get closer to the move date. And uh, the reason I'm documenting this is for my own, uh, of course, satisfaction. At the same time, if somebody who is a Lego collector or some hobby that's close to the Lego, uh, they are in a situation where they want to move and they uh, stumble on this video or my videos, and they can see how maybe I did it. There's no reason for my madness, but uh, that's how I'm trying to do it. So uh, with no further ado, uh, let me show you what I'm planning to pack in this video or what I'm planning to accomplish in this video. So this is the Lego room now. It all consolidated to one room. Uh, I had to fit everything in this room, uh, which will make it easy when the move comes. At least I will have, don't have to be running around different rooms and grabbing different Lego sets. But the way I organize it, first of all, I try to organize the unbuilt Lego sets in a, in a way where it makes sense when I move it. Like for example, the three by one team, the Disney team, the city team, Technic team, Ninjago, uh, Ideas over there. And then here is the mixed hodgepodge of things between architect, and so on and so forth and here I have the Star Wars and here I have uh, this bunch over here is the creator expert and this is the Star Wars that's not built and behind it there there's ultimate collector series that are not built yet and if I go back here in this corner I don't have a much of those but there's still quite a few sets here the Harry Potter sets Yep, I have a couple of those here. So these are the Harry Potter sets. So yeah, so I organize them by teams. So that takes care of this part here. And then on the table here, you're going to see I have two tables, two big tables. And the way I organize them is by Ultimate Collector Series Built. So these are all the built ones, which I will not be deassembling. I will move them the way they are. Most probably will uh, just get a box for each one of them in case something falls off, a piece falls off, it will fall, fall out in the box and I don't lose it. So, but this table is all the Ultimate Collector series that are built. And then behind it, the other table is all the modulars that are being built and I'm going to move them without deassembling them. Like I said, I'll put them uh, in one box each and that way if something happens, they at least the parts will fall in one place. So that's what all this will happen. And then here I have my marks. These are the marks. And these are going to be also moved uh, the way they are. Uh, a couple of them. And of course, there's the train station, of course, the hospital, which I'll have a final video on that because I finished it up, as you can see there. So we'll get back to that later. And that's pretty much where they all are the unpacked stuff. Keep in mind, I already have four containers that are being already packed uh, for blue ones, if you recall from the past videos. So uh, today's accomplishment is, I wanna get these Star Wars sets that are built along with this Technic Ferrari, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I want to get these and along with some hodgepodge of batteries and uh, motors uh, that I have projects for in the future in this box here. I'm going to get all those. The intention today is to get all these uh, by hopefully keeping them the way they are uh, into these three boxes or maybe less. I don't know. I have all these packaging materials and the goal is to pile them along with already boxed here. Uh, I have here the Batwing, already paid. and here I have 
I think I have here the the haunted house and uh, the Ghostbuster house. And here I have the promos already packed. I have some room left for more. But here are the promos I get when you buy something. These are the promos already here. Uh, I have room for a couple more maybe before I seal it up. But these are the boxes that's going to be joining the other boxes when I'm done. So these boxes, along with what I'm going to get today done, along with my four to five blue bins, along with what I have in the room, got to be moved somehow. In addition to what I have on back order that most probably I'll be receiving before my move comes up, and I will add them to the pile of unbuilt items. So with no further ado, uh, let's start uh, packing. Okay, uh, well, it took longer than I anticipated, but uh, I was able to fill up one full box, which is here. These are large Home Depot boxes. I started the second one, as you can see. I still have room for more. I am actually expecting a couple more sets, uh, which uh, I think they will go in there, which will complete this box. And then I, of course, have Already, these are already good to go. I just have to tape this one. So these are all the boxes so far uh, that I've packed. I still have one more large box that's empty, which I can utilize, which I know I will. I most probably will end up using them all. As I have, like I said, a uh, couple more uh, sets on the way. And uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, Maybe some of my uh, mocks, like the ones that are, these two maybe could go in a box because they're like a square type of mock. If I wrap them properly, I would maybe be able to put them in a box by themselves, uh, which will make more sense maybe then. So yeah, these two. Uh, this one is a bit flimsy. I don't know, I might have to carry it the way it is. Uh, these small items, they are easy. This is flimsy. I just have to uh, figure out a way to uh, transport it. But uh, most of them I could be packed. Uh, these two are very heavy, so I have got to figure out those. But as you see, the floor is clear. This was full of Legos here. It's all good to go now. It's nice uh, and empty. I can walk through the, the room. Uh, I think everything here is ready to be moved uh, when the time comes. These are all boxes. Just have to move them and uh, like I said these are the only built ones that are not being packed uh, that's gonna be carried uh, individually uh, like I said I'll have a box to carry each one of them to the new location or to a storage unit till uh, depending on the situation but yeah so I uh, these are the only tricky ones uh, these two tables anyway uh, I just wanted to share this, uh, document this uh, uh, move, uh, I guess packing. Uh, hopefully uh, you got something out of it, maybe not. <laughs> in my, in my, uh, for my case, I got something out of it. I packed two boxes, so that's good for me. But anyway, as usual, uh, I'll end this video with a note of, uh, if you like the content, please don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button. 
and uh, till another video let's keep building